God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, without Jesus Christ, you'll perish. Now let me explain to you what perish is. Again, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Preacher, what does perish mean? Well, when you got old milk in the refrigerator, that's about to turn to cottage cheese, you pour it out. Because it's perishable. And without Jesus Christ, God's going to throw you out. And God's incinerator is hell. Because you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. A loving God that he gave his son. And that if you reject his son, you send yourself to hell. Not God. You'll never say, I got to hell because God sent me to hell. No, you got to hell because you rejected Jesus Christ. You got to hell because you rejected a preacher preaching about hell. You got to hell because you rejected the blood of Jesus Christ. God told the preacher, go preach the gospel. Tell them that there's a hell. Tell them that Jesus saved. Preach against religion. And they have a choice. They can believe or they can reject. And when you believe, God will allow you into heaven. And when you reject, God will reject you. When you reject Jesus Christ, the Bible says, Jesus will tell you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Never does God send people to hell. You send yourself. Because God suffered and died according to the scriptures. And they buried God. And God arose again the third day according to the scriptures. God did all he could to save your soul. And you said, no. Nope. Don't want to believe it. It is you, yourself, that sends you to hell, not God. Because upon Calvary's hill, upon Calvary's cross, Jesus done all he could do that man might be saved. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, would take away the sin of the world. Listen, Jesus said, hell was made for the devil and his angels. Hell was never made for mankind. But since Adam and Eve rebelled against God, and man became a sinner, and the wages of sin is death. But that verse ain't done yet. That's Romans 6.23, and that verse ain't done, because the verse says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God eternal life to Jesus Christ our Lord the gift of God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son God has done all God has given all that you might be saved God don't send you to hell you go to hell by rejecting the free gift of God you say God Jesus is not good enough for me God my church is better than Calvary. God, my offerings, my tithes, my charity is better than John 3.16.
God. Baptism is what will put me into heaven. God, I don't believe in you at all. God, after I die, that's it. Nothing else happens. And the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. And if you don't meet God on the realm of Jesus Christ and on the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, God will tell you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And I tell you right now, at this moment, now, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be sick. Save for what? Hell. I know churches don't preach on hell. They don't want to tell you where they're going. I'm very suspicious of a preacher that won't preach about hell. Maybe he's going. Not all preachers are saved. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, Paul tells the Corinthian church that Satan has ministers. And if Satan is the father of lies, what do you think they preach? They preach lies. You say, well, preacher, I think you're preaching lies. I think you can open up the King James Bible. You can check what I say. You can find it in the scriptures. Right here is the King James Bible. I'll let you open it up. I'll show you where it is. Right here. Come on up. Acts 16.31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Romans 6.23. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Isaiah 118, come now, let us reason again. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Romans chapter 10, verse 9, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Luke chapter 15, that man in hell. That man in hell says, will you send somebody to my family and tell them not to come to this place of torment? You know, people in hell want us to preach the gospel. But the people at Daytona Beach Farmer's Market don't want us to preach the gospel. But when they get to hell... By rejecting Jesus, they're going to want the preacher to preach against their family. You realize anybody from the farmer's market who has died and gone to hell, they're now saying, preacher, preach? <coughs> People who have died from the farmer's market who hated the preaching are now in hell saying, preach, preacher, preach. Don't tell them to come here. In Luke chapter 15, Jesus tells us that people in hell don't want you to come to hell. And the world says, well, we're going to party in hell. There's nowhere to plug your DJ in. There's no outlets. There's no cell phone coverage. There's no light in hell. It's a place of darkness. It's a place of torment. And you go to hell because you have rejected the free gift of God, Jesus Christ. What did God do to cast you into hell? What did God do that you may not go to hell? He suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again. The third day according to the scriptures. That's what God did. What do you do? You believe or you reject? What's the preacher do? He preaches the word. God died. God was buried. God arose the third day according to the scriptures. The preacher preaches the gospel. You either believe or you reject. And keep your money. 
I don't want your money. There are plants and fruits and vegetables, all kinds of things you can use your money for. I don't want your money. I want you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You say, well, preacher, I want to go to church. No, don't go to church. Whoa. If you're not saved, you have never believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't bother going to church. Church is a group of people who are already saved. Church is a body of believers of Jesus Christ. You don't go to church. You are the church by faith and belief in Jesus. Now, if you're saved, you have put faith in Jesus, you need a church, come on over here and we'll help you find a church that's close to your home, that's King James. But if you never believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, church is not going to do anything for you. Giving money ain't going to... God does not accept that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For... Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's it. Well, preacher, I'll go to church Sunday morning and what if you die Sunday night? You can die Saturday night and, oh, I was going to go to church. You ain't going to go to heaven because I was going to go to church. You go to heaven by Saturday Saturday morning right now. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and die and go to heaven. You can get saved right now at Mongolia and Wall Street and Daytona Beach, Florida by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Wages of sin is death. We're all sinners. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You got sin? Go to Jesus. He'll cleanse you. If we confess our sins, He's faithful enough, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 9. There's only one way to get rid of your sin. By the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Church can't do it. Water can't do it. But the blood of God, Acts 20, 28, can do it. You can be cleansed. You can be washed. You can be a child of God today, right now, through the finished work of Jesus Christ. Or you can die and be rejected by God because you rejected God. It's your choice. God ain't going to call thunder down. I ain't going to call thunder down. It's up to you. You don't need a prayer altar. You can stop right now and you can call upon God standing up to be saved. Simple. If you want to go to heaven, you're only going to get to heaven through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Are you washed? In the blood of Jesus. You cannot and will not get to heaven without the finished work of Jesus. 